Good morning children. We already have done full chapter, chapter number 3 which is the Lake Isle of Inansvi before summer vacation. Only part B is left which is writing skill. Today we will do part B writing skills or extrapolation. It is Last summer, Rishabh traveled to the countryside where his grand grandparents reside. Reside means to live. Countryside means village or a rural area. Last summer, Rishabh went to his grandparents' village where they live. The peaceful rural life is in total contrast to the hustle and bustle. Means surrounding means noisy area of the cities life there was full of peace in contrast to the busy life of the cities means life in villages is of peaceful life and in cities is a busier life the slow pace of life as compared to the fast paced city life the rustling trees, rustling means creating noise of leaves, noise of leaves. The rustling trees against the bustling buses, bustling means noisy, buses in towns are quite unsettling for him. Rishabh has noticed difference between a village life means a rural life and a life means means he has noticed the difference between village life and city's life. Risha misses the quiet life. He writes a letter to his grandparents expressing his views. So, address and last part is mentioned in your books and this space is for writing, for expressing your views to his grandparents. So, write this letter in your books if you have. If you have not books, then note it down in your notebooks. Let us start. Chapter 3. It is on page number 27 of English book. A new leaf. It is a part B of back exercise. It is writing skills or extrapolation. Risha misses the quiet life. He, he writes a letter to his grandparents expressing his views. First part shows address, second, main body and third, end of the letter. B10, it is address of his grandparents. B10. 1026 Bika Ji, Kama Colony, New Delhi, date 6 July 2020. Dear Grandpa and Grandma, I hope you are fine by the God's grace. I am also fine here and missing last summer vacation when I was with you. Rishabh apne grandparents ko letter likh rahe hai ke I hope ke aap God ki grace se Paramatma ki daya se aap achche ho and I am also fine. Mein bhi yaha achcha hoon and missing last summer vacation when I was with you. Aur mein un summer vacation ko miss kar raha hoon jis samay mein aapke saath tha. I enjoyed peaceful rural life there. मैंने वहाँ पे rural life को जो कि बहुत ही peaceful थी मैंने उसको enjoy किया. Though life is slow there but has a peace. वहाँ की life slow थी लेकिन peaceful peace देने वाली थी. Life of village is more is more close to nature. Village ki life kaisi hoti hai? Nature ke paas. 
नेचर के नज़दीक होती है सिटी लाइफ इज मच बिजियर लाइफ एंड फुल ऑफ हसल एंड बसल सिटी लाइफ कैसी होती है बहुत ज़्यादा बिजी लाइफ होती है नो वन हैज़ टाइम टू इन्जॉय किसी के पास नेचर को इन्जॉय करने का टाइम नहीं होता टू इन्जॉय द नेचर इन्जॉय द नेचर आई वॉन्ट टू से थैंक्स टू यू फॉर सच अ ग्रेट एक्सपीरियंस इन माई लाइफ कि मैं आपको थैंक्स बोलना चाहता हूँ इस ग्रेट एक्सपीरियंस के लिए योर अफेक्शनेटली रिश राइट नाउ लेट एस रिवाइज अगेन आई होप यू आर फाइन बाय द गॉड्स ग्रेस आई एम ऑल्सो फाइन हेयर एंड मिसिंग लार्ज समर वोकेशन वेन आई वॉज विद यू I enjoyed peaceful rural life there though life is slow there but has a peace life of village is more close to nature city life is much busier life no one has time to enjoy the nature i want to say thanks to you for such a yours affectionately rishab here Difficult word is affectionately affection, a double f e c t i o n affection, atly a t e l y affectionately right. So read this letter, learn it, and then note it down in your notebook or in books. next we have grammar section topic is noun singular and plural you already know what is singular and plural but we will revise it again singular means a noun noun in singular means a noun standing for one person one animal one place or one thing is singular in number like a boy a girl cat house gas these are singular single person single animal single place or single thing next plural noun a noun standing for more than one person animal place or a thing is plural in plural in number like boys girls cats houses and guests these are plural in number right let us do let us do some words of singular and plural first word is ball is a singular noun means it is a name of a thing plural its plural is balls means more than one ball is called balls it is a plural word second is month it is a singular in number and its plural is months it is plural in number next third is class singular classes plural next is mango singular mangoes plural city singular plural of cities cities remove y and attach i e s y ko cut karke i e s attach karna hai city ka cities next six story again why story remove y and attach i e s stories s t o r y ki place pe i e s stories next is story its spelling is different from that story story means kahani yahan story ka hai manzil jaise bolte hain single story building hai डबल स्टोरी बिल्डिंग है कितनी मंजिल की बिल्डिंग है प्लूरल ऑफ दिस स्टोरी इज स्टोरीज मीन्स 
no need to remove y just attach s here right note this point story and stories this story and story next eighth key its plural is keys no need to remove y just attach s here knife knife its plural is knives k n i v e s remove remove f and attach v e s wife its plural is wives w i v e s woman woman mouse mice child its plural is children more than one child is children ox its plural is oxen fish its plural is fish it is it remains same sheep sheep 